Hello guys and welcome to the video. In today's video we are going to talk about Instagram Reels and how to upload high quality Instagram Reels. I already made a video about Instagram Reels back in 2021 but Instagram changed a little and there are some things that might be crucial to uploading the highest quality possible. So I'm not going to waste your time so let's jump straight into the video. First, we need to divide this into a couple of steps. First, how to record your video, then how to set the right sequence settings for your video, how to export your video, how to transfer your video to your phone, and of course, how to upload your video to Instagram. So let's begin. The first step is how to record your video. And this is probably the step that you don't need to worry about. I suggest to record in the highest quality possible or just match the sequence settings that we are going to use later in the video. Now that you have your video, it's time to transfer it to your PC. If you're using a DSLR camera and a SD card, you will transfer the pure MP4 format and that's alright. But if you're recording with your phone, you need to be careful when transferring the video. Do not transfer your videos via social media platforms, not even email like some people say. Instead, use platforms like Google Drive or Dropbox. This will transfer the videos in the original quality. Now that you have your video on your PC, it's time to put it in Premiere Pro and the right sequence. To create a new sequence here in Premiere Pro, go to the Media tab, right click, New Item and then Sequence. And a new window with presets will pop up. Here from the presets you can choose whatever preset you want because we are going to change its settings later. I'm going to go with digital SLR, 1080p and then DSLR 1080p 30 and go to settings. Here in settings you need to make sure that the resolution is right. This depends on what resolution you recorded your video. I usually record my videos in 1080p because that's what my camera is capable of. The only thing I need to change here is these two values because our video is now in landscape and we need it in portrait. So in the first box put 1080 and in the second box put 1920 and make sure that the aspect ratio is 9 by 16. For the frame rate, keep it on 29.97. I usually record my videos in 24 frames per second, but Instagram will convert your video to 30 FPS no matter what after you upload it. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, only two things we need to change here is these two boxes. Check them for maximum bit depth and maximum render quality. And we are done. Now we can save our preset if we want, so we can use it for later. If you want that, click here on save preset, name your preset, Instagram 2022, and I'm gonna click OK. And it should appear at the bottom of our presets. Here it is. Now name your sequence, let's say Instagram high quality, and click OK. Now that you created your sequence, it's time to put a video in it. Here I have a video of me talking. I'm going to put it right on the sequence. And now you can edit your video. And now I'm not going to show this process of editing. Maybe I will leave it for another video about editing. Let's say that you're happy with your video and you're ready to export it. Now, before you export your video, make sure to select your video so you don't end up with a black screen at the end. And go to File, Export, and then media and a new window will pop up now here for the format make sure it's h264 for the preset mesh source high bitrate output name this is not just the name of your file it just it's also the location of your file so this is really important click on the name choose your location i'm going to choose it here where my original video is the file name is instagram high quality we're keeping it like that and we're going to go and click save now go down to basic video settings. Now here the basic video settings are the settings that you put on your sequence. But if you want to change something, you can uncheck this box and you can change your resolution. But we are all good here. The only thing we need to make sure is uh, that this box here for render and maximum depth is checked. Go down to encoding settings. Hardware encoding, it's better than software encoding, but if you have a slower PC or a laptop, you can go with software encoding and will do just fine. And now let's go down to probably the most important step of all and that is the bitrate settings. Now, in the last video and all of my videos, I suggest to you to put VBR2 pass. But for this video, we are going to use VBR1 pass, which is for some reason works better for Instagram Reels. Now, instead of VBR2 pass, we are going to go with VBR1 pass. And for the target bitrate, we are going to put 
anything between 15 and 20. I'm gonna go with 17, that's what I mostly use. And the last thing we need to do is make sure that this box will use maximum render quality, it's checked. And we are ready to go, we can click export or if we want to edit something else in Premiere Pro while this video is rendering in media encoder, we can click on Q. But for this video, I'm gonna go with export. And we are basically done. After you have your final video, it's time to transfer it back to your phone. Here, use the same process as before. Transfer your videos through Google Drive, Dropbox, or if you're using Mac and iPhone, use AirDrop. Now that you have your video on your phone, it's time to upload it on Instagram. But before that, you need to check probably the most important step for the quality of your reel, which is in the Instagram application, and for some reason, it's turned off by default. To turn it on, you need to go to your Instagram profile, type on the three lines in the top right corner, go to settings, then account, and then data usage. And here you have high quality upload, which for some reason it's turned off by default. We need to turn it on and now everything is okay. And this is probably the most crucial step of all. And this is the reason why I'm making this video. Without this setting, you can upload the best quality ever. And once you upload your video to Instagram, it will still get the bad quality. So now that we have our setting on, we are ready to go, we are all set and now you can upload your video to Instagram. And that's basically it guys, nothing much changed from the last video but it sure changed in terms of quality in your reels. I hope I helped with this one and if I did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel so we can see more videos like this one. Until then, peace.